vehicle drivers, multimodal air transit, and addressing issues relating to transit trade. We are encouraged by the progress made on these issues and remain committed to promoting trade and people-to-people -people ties with Afghanistan. The government of Pakistan is in contact with the Chinese government following the heinous terrorist attack of 26th of March near Bisham that claimed the lives of five Chinese nationals. We are fully committed to bringing the terrorists and their facilitators and abettors to justice. Such despicable acts further strengthen Pakistan's resolve in combating terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. Pakistan and China are close friends and iron brothers. We have no doubt that the Bisham terror attack was orchestrated by the enemies of Pakistan-China friendship. Together, we will resolutely act against all such acts and forces and defeat them. Pakistan will continue to work with our Chinese brothers in ensuring the safety and security of Chinese nationals, projects, and institutions in Pakistan. It has been three days since the adoption of the UN Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Palestine. However, the Israeli war on the people of Gaza continues unabated and the Palestinian people continue to face starvation and genocide. We call on the backers of Israel to urge Israel to bring an end to the massacre of the Palestinian people, lift the inhumane siege, and allow humanitarian assistance to all parts of Gaza. The international community must redouble its efforts for a just and durable solution to the Palestine question and for the creation of, a, of an independent, viable, sovereign, and contiguous Palestinian state along pre-June 1967 borders with Al-Quds al-Sharif as its capital. The Indian occupation authorities are reportedly set to auction some blocks of lithium reserves discovered in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. There are concerns that corporations from outside the occupied region would be awarded the contracts to exploit this valuable resource that belongs to the Kashmiri people. These measures by the occupation authorities to deprive Kashmiris of their right to natural resources are illegal and exploitative. IIOJK must not be deprived of its natural resources. The people of Kashmir have the foremost right over the wealth of their homeland, including precious metals. We call on India to abandon such exploitative plans and respect the right of Kashmiris to their own land and natural resources. Pakistan will continue to extend political, diplomatic, and moral support to our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for the just and peaceful settlement of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. I thank you.